And new information, I want you to take a look at your screen. A fiery school bus crash in Lincoln County, Tennessee, and it happened this morning. This video was sent to us by Rick McGrath. This afternoon, state troopers tell us the bus driver is at fault. The bus and SUV wrecked on Huntsville Highway. It's at Hook Lane. Thankfully, no children were on board at the time. And Way 31's Rodney Ross got reaction from people in the area who heard the crash and then saw the aftermath. I talked to a man that worked at a body shop nearby where this accident happens. He told me he heard the crash and came out to investigate. And when he did, he saw the fire start under the hood of the car. He tells me he went to get a fire extinguisher, but by the time he came back, there was nothing he could do. When we come out, it was already engulfed in flames, so what nothing we could do about that. Ricky Stevenson was working at a nearby body shop when he heard the sirens. He came out of the building to find an SUV crash into a pole and a school bus on its side. He noticed a fire started on the engine of the SUV and he knew he had to do something. It was a horrific fire. Uh, it didn't take long for it to burn. It burned up in probably 10 minutes. State troopers say the bus was trying to make a left turn when the SUV hit the front of it before hitting the pole. A state trooper at the scene pulled the driver of the SUV out of the vehicle into safety. Brian Scott also heard the crash and came to see what happened. A former state trooper himself, he said this is the first crash he's seen of this size. It's the biggest burning wreck I saw. I saw several catch on fire and I saw some serious accidents and caused fatalities. But as far I was more worried about kids being on the bus. Thankfully, there were no children on the bus at the time of the crash. Both the bus driver and the driver of the SUV were taken to the hospital for treatment. Scott says he's just happy it wasn't as bad as it could have been. I'm just glad there were no children there and nobody was killed in the accident because I first thought that was what had happened. I reached out to the state troopers to learn the conditions of the victims but have not yet heard back. In Lincoln County, Rodney of Ross, Way 31 News. And the school district tells us the bus driver went to the hospital and was drug tested. They say that that is standard protocol when a driver is involved in a crash.